have any of you guys experienced this bug or this issue i don't know if anybody has ever gone through this before but there is a mission here i'm on my way on the free to play journey account to getting into the third part or this is the second part we're right there yeah this is getting into part three and i'm stuck on this mission and it's not because i can't do it well i mean i technically can't do it i'm supposed to do 1.5 million damage to the clan loss to the demon lord in a single day which i have done i can do the damage in a single day but it's not registering and that's the issue that i'm running into after reset i hit easy two 0.38 million damage and it didn't register it registered the first key and this this was my first key and so i figured okay i'm just gonna hit it one more time and everything would be solved but no it didn't register and i thought okay well maybe this is a fluke because obviously two is more than one right so i hit normal thinking okay maybe i need to hit a different clan boss maybe it'll register then bro i use three keys 3.14 million and it's still not registering have you have you guys gone through this let me hit the clan boss one more time i'll hit it on easy and we'll, we'll see how it goes What? Why? <laughs> this always happens when you're by yourself and, and trying to get something to work and it doesn't work. So you try to share the experience with somebody to see if they can relate or they can help, but it doesn't happen. Actually, you know what it was? I might have jumped the gun. I will admit, at reset I had one key, and I used the one key. And then I got impatient and I said to myself, I'm going to use gems, so I used gems. I had quite a bit of gems before, but I kept investing into the idea that I need to finish this now because I'm such a checklist type guy, and if I see something here I have to get out of the way. Maybe it doesn't register if you use gems. If you buy keys, I don't think it registers. I gotta admit, I'm really enjoying this free-to-play raid relived experience. I'm relearning a lot and experiencing what it was from the beginning to struggle. If I must use a word, I think struggle was the best word to describe it. We have a Lunar Festival event coming up. The way this works is you earn lunar points by doing events and tournaments. You can also buy lunar points. They always usually sell either in a limited time offer pack or you can go to the shop and it'll be there too. Like not the, lim not, not the special offer shop, but the one above that where they sell regular things like shards at absurd prices. You unlock more points. You'll be able to earn... 1750 you only need 1500 at the end you get a five star perfect soul for um for Zenogre blade master as well as other things like primals voids ancient shards skill tomes etc now in my experience it's good if you have the resources for it, or if you're a pay-to-win player. If you are free to play, or even in the new game, I would caution against doing this. You are drained right now. More than likely, if you went for a Zenogre, you are drained. I am drained. I don't mean just in the game, in my resources. But I mean... Raid can take quite a bit out of you so that's why i think it's important to avoid burnout you do need to take breaks i've talked about this before in other videos what you want to do is choose specific events 
Raid does an excellent job at inducing FOMO. They are so good at putting out events and tournaments at this monster path that they're also putting out at the same time that they're bringing out this Lunar Festival event at the same time that they just finished a Zenogre or a, a Fragment event, fusion event. So you're going to feel like you will miss out. You're going to want to invest. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. But if you don't really care about a 5-star Perfect Soul, which, by the way, I think is amazing if you can get it, I don't know that I'm going to go for it just because I have real life. I have work. I work seven days a week or six days a week. And I'm running YouTube on top of that, trying to put out content because I enjoy putting out content. I enjoy editing or I enjoy making YouTube videos and connecting with the community. I just caution you. I digress from every tangent that I was about to go off of. If you can do it and you want to do it, go ahead and do it. This monster path, I think this is how you get Alatreon, Blade Master. He did seem like a really sick champion, and you know, you, you do what you can. If you're like some people who play raid, like Gavin is somebody, Vergi is somebody I know, who stack resources. On my main account, I do stack resources as well. Probably not so efficiently as they do, but if you're in that bubble of people who have the discipline to save and not pull every shard whenever they can, then you're more than likely in a better position to do so, to go for those events, even after this fusion event happened. Now, I talked about waiting for two Xs. As a free-to-play beginning player, yes, the most efficient thing for you to do is to save your shards for 2x events. And this is food, by the way. What you want to do is consider the idea that it's okay to pull your shards in the beginning of the game. When you're hurting for champions, when you're hurting for food, when you're hurting to get your Saurus, if you choose Saurus or whoever you might be choosing to be your campaign farmer or your first 60, you need food, you're going to want food, and there's nothing wrong with it. Remember, there is no one specific way to play raid. There is just what a lot of people will recommend. There are things that I will caution you against, for an example. And then there's the things that I'm going to do. Remember, I I've done this over 20 times already, so I, I know what to do oftentimes, but I don't always follow through with it. Like, one of the first things I'll always tell people is to focus on clan boss. I've been lagging getting clan boss up. And I've been distracting myself with so many things, namely getting champions, that I haven't really been able to focus on 60ing somebody. Like, I was focusing on Kale, and then I said, oh, I'm going to focus on SWK. Then I pulled Saurus, and then I remembered, oh, Saurus was an awesome campaign farmer way back when. Let me work on him. And then I remembered, oh, there's the referral program where I can get Jamarsa, who was a solid epic in the beginning, to help with AoE revivals and heals. Defense Aura. I can get all these rewards and work towards Chronum. Running these accounts on top of this baby burrito account on top of my main account, these champions here, I do have to farm for Diabolist, so my goal right now is going to be finishing the Hollowed Halls, getting into Brimstone Path, this is on Brutal, and what I want to do is start farming 12-3, working and perfecting Saurus's build so that he can efficiently farm. Everything kind of interweaves and builds upon each other in this game. What I'm going to do next is work my way into 12, stage 12, so that I can start farming for Diabolus because she is part of the just this year fusion and she is farmable here. Getting gear is difficult for Saurus, but now I need to 
try to start working my way in the dungeons. Right now we're not stuck. No, we're stuck. I'm not going to lie to you. We're stuck on stage 7. We're not able to do it yet. We just built Rathalos. In my last build, we or last video, we pulled Hefrak. Hefrak is a huge pull, but he I'm spreading my resources out. I don't have the gear to offer to everybody. In Dragon, we're as far as stage 8. This is pretty nice because we can get the 5-star gear, and that's going to help us progress. Fire Knight is probably my favorite dungeon to farm, and what I really want to get into because of the Savage gear, which is going to help tremendously for all of my damage dealers. And then, by the way, if you did start with Sun Wukong, and you want an idea of how to build him, I have three videos on him. Well, technically four. But choose one, depending on what you want.